Hello Divas and Gents, it's me Messina Diva. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. This is going to be a Milani Cosmetics first impressions unboxing video. If you've been following me for a while, you know that Milani is my absolute favorite drugstore brand. I absolutely love their products, especially their lipsticks and blushes. And since we're on the topic of lipstick, I have on Black Cherry which is from their first color statement line, which I will leave a link down below to the video that I did last year on this collection. So I want to show you guys the box that it came in. It came in this Milani box. And of course, everything in this package is wrapped so awesomely, if that's even a word. And you know, they're known for their gold luxurious packaging so that remains the same with this collection so if you're ready then let's go so first i have this box of rose powder blushes and there's actually three pieces in here so you guys will be seeing me wearing these items in future videos. I will list everything down below on that video. You'll see them in blog posts and you may even see swatch videos. So the first one is called number one, Romantic Rose Powder Blush. And I already taken it out of the packaging and here's how it looks like. Very, very pretty. And I love the fact that it has a rose type uh, engrave embossed look. That is so cute to me. I've never seen a blush like that, so that's a plus. Next, we have number 05 Coral Cove, which would go perfect with my look today because of my coral blazer which is probably coming off as a different color but this is gorgeous you guys the camera is doing it no justice right now i will probably have to take some pictures so you guys can get a true feel of how vibrant this is but this is it right here hopefully you guys can see it so 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 beautiful love this i'll take a picture so you guys can see it better next is number 08 t rose and t rose is another rose color And T-Rose reminds me of the first one. This is T-Rose right here. So those are the three new blushes in the spring line. So next we have the Fierce Foil Eyeliners. And these are breathtakingly beautiful because they have really nice sparkle. And they all come with a brush. I took one out so that I could show you guys the pigmentation. But let me show you guys the bag that it came in. So here's the bag. And the first one is black gold. And it comes with a brush. So you can see it's black with gold flex and these eyeliners are so gorgeous next we have navy it also comes with the brush and it's navy of course then we have brown brown is really cute in my opinion brown with gold flecks and the one that I took out of the package is purple foil and I wanted to show you guys the pigmentation on this so here it is and here is the actual eyeliner and I'm just going to swatch it and here it is purple foil isn't that gorgeous 
They also sent the Blackest Black Kajal Coal Eyeliner. And it looks like this. It's so regal in a nice gold tube. The reason why I like coal eyeliners is because I like to line my uh, waterline. And the coal ones are softer and they appear more pigmented than just the regular eye pencil. So I'm so excited for this. I'm ready to bust it out of the package and use it. Next, we have the Milani Fierce Foil Eye Shines, and these are supposed to mimic the runway in Italy. And the way it works is that you put the color on, and then you put this over the eye, like over the eyeshadow, to create a jeweled, glossy-like look. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I haven't tried it out, but I'll let you guys know what I think about it. I have seen some reviews on it. The Mind Catcher did a very good tutorial using this product. It does seem like it will be hard to work with because of how it moves, but the pigmentation appears to be very good, but I haven't tried it. This is just my first impression. It came in this bag, and I'll show you all four. Seems like the names are after the cities in Italy, because I do believe this year Milani focused on the uh, Italian theme. And so these are inspired by the runways. In Italy so this first one is called Florence number three Florence and I opened this one already so that you guys could see how it looks here is the applicator the applicator is not soft it's actually rubbery and here are the colors this is like the gold type palette and let me just show you guys what I mean when I say it moves you see how it I don't know if you can really see but you see how pigmented that is and here's how it looks on my hand so if you guys can see it's bouncing off the light it has a glossy type appearance so that's the idea behind the fierce full eye shines they want it to have a glossy jewel type look so that's what they were going for it's not supposed to be a dry eyeshadow number one milan which milan is also a city in italy and here are the colors and since i've already shown you the texture i don't have to take the rest of these out the package Next is number two, Rome. And here's how Rome looks like. I'm not sure what that is that spilled inside, but this is Rome. And last but not least from the Fierce Foil Eye Shines is Venice. That is number four, Venice. Okay, and these are beautiful blues and aquas. Last but not least, we have my favorite part, the new matte lipsticks. And they're all right here. There's 10 of them. I believe eight of them are matte and the other three are just other additional colors. And of course, if you guys thumbs this video up, I'll definitely do a separate video um, with swatches. And I'll have on, you know, a neutral color without the blazer so that you guys can see the true color. So if you want to see that, then make sure and give this, give this video a thumbs up. So first we have number 65, which is called Matte Glam. And Matte Glam reminds me so much of Violet Volt from their regular color statement collection. And here's how it looks like. See how beautiful this is. The packaging is the normal uh, gold packaging, same packaging as before. But what I like about this is that they still have a way of identifying it by putting matte on the label. So you know um, that this is a matte color in your um, makeup collection. So matte glam looks like this. Look how beautiful this is. And I am doing swatches on the hand, but once again, thumbs up if you want to see it on the lips on my skin tone. Matte Glam. And that was number 65. Next we have Matte Naked. And this is number 61. 
And this one reminds me of Teddy Bear from the other collection. It's like a really nice matte color. You probably won't see it on my skin tone, but it's there. So this is matte naked. Very, very cute. You guys know you have those days when you just want to wear a regular new lip. Next is one that I think is going to be my favorite spring color. It's called Matte Diva, like Missina Diva, but it's number 63, Matte Diva. And this, I don't own Candy Yum Yum, but I would say that if I had Candy Yum Yum, this would probably remind me of it. Do you guys see how shocking of a pink that is? This is Diva. And here it is. And this is truly matte because I can tell by the finish. And here it is. So that color is already going to be my favorite. I can tell. So next we have Matte Innocence. And Matte Innocence looks like it may be too light for me, but if I put a brown liner with it, I think it'll be perfect. Matte Innocence number 60. And here's how it looks. Very, very nude. And do you guys see this color here? This would be gorgeous with a brown lip liner or you could even do plum and blend it in or do some type of ombre look there's always different things you can do with lipstick so never feel like you can't wear a certain color people ask me all the time how do you make lipstick look so nice it's just a matter of playing around finding out what looks good with that outfit so matte confident while we're speaking on confidence is the next one we're going to go over number 67 matte confident and everyone knows that I love red so I'm excited about this this is definitely a let's see it's like it's definitely a blue based red which is perfect for women of color our skin tone wow this is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so very very pretty and it's so smooth, it glides on so easily. That's what I love. So next we have, let's see which one we're gonna do next. Matte Passion. And this one is like a coral type color. Matte Passion, this is number 66. This is really pretty as well. And here's the difference between confidence and passion. Passion has more of a orange undertone, as you can see. Okay. So that's another nice spring color. Next we have Matte Blissful. And matte blitzful is like a baby pink with a mauve undertone. It's number 62. Looks like this. See how beautiful that is? And here it is right here. Love that. It has kind of a neon touch to it. And that's what I like. The last matte is Matte Orchid, and then I'll show you the other two. Orchid is definitely going to be another one of my favorites. It'll probably be in a running with Diva. It's number 64. Matte Orchid. And looks so pretty. Here it is right here. And look how gorgeous that is. This one is definitely more on the fuchsia side. Diva was more on the... Mm, can't quite describe it. Next we have number 46, Power Pink. Power Pink 
is not matte, but it's beautiful. Looks like a cream. So let's see how it looks. Definitely a cream. And Power Pink is right here. I love the name Power Pink. It reminds me of Breast Cancer Warriors. Mm, and it smells good. <laughs> Last but not least is Catwalk Pink. Catwalk Pink is like a pale type baby pink. But it's gorgeous. It's number 45. Catwalk Pink. And this is how it looks. This one is definitely a cream or satin. And it's right there. So here are all the colors. And like I said, thumbs up this video if you want to see a swatch video. And then they sent me two liners. One in Bordeaux. Which Bordeaux is like a burgundy and the other one is in pretty pink which is of course a nice baby pink which would go perfectly with catwalk pink so guys hopefully you enjoyed this video please leave any comments questions or concerns down below thank you so much for watching this video please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video bye and don't forget to embrace your uniqueness because time is much too short to be living someone else's life. Bye.